How did the song originate? Just take us down that path. How did how did it originate? I wrote the song. We wrote the song. We wrote the the hook and 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 a lot of the, the the inlay for the song, but we didn't have a track for it. Finally, we got a track for it. Laid the song down, kind of mulled around the song in Atlanta for a little while. Finally, the radio station, one of the DJs at the radio station heard it. Took it to the radio station. It was one of the biggest hits ever in Atlanta. I mean, everybody know that, you know, dude tried to do what he did with, with, with yeah. the song and, you know, Jermaine did what he did with the song, but it's like, hey, they never, once the song got to number one, we did a cease and desist. I mean, literally stop hearing that song. Facts. I mean, you could, you could Google it. Yeah. What you mean? Right. What you mean you stop hearing it? Cease and desist mean that yeah, you have to stop even yeah. playing this. This is every radio station yeah. everywhere on earth. Once you, once my, once our lawyer saw that it went number one, and it's totally real. Our song was number one, and Banner's song was number two, and he called us. You know, when you do when a song goes number one, your lawyer called you with, oh, all happy. Yeah, this wasn't one of them calls. He called us all sad. We know what we got to do. Do it. Cause this is just crazy. But you don't hear that song. You still don't hear that song on the radio. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you hear our version of it because our version is the real version of it. Yeah, the original. But what I'm saying is you don't hear that song on a national level. You don't go places and say, oh, they, cause it's season this is on it. Like that's a court order. Who was on the original song? The original song was me, Reese, Bone Crusher, and Killer Mike. T.I. came in and did his verse, but we couldn't pay him at the time. Like, literally, it wasn't, I mean, T.I. wasn't T.I. at the time. He was Tip. Yeah, because that song is what really broke him, right? I mean, mm -hmm. but he didn't get paid for it, but yeah. it made his career. Killer Mike, we paid Killer Mike, but he didn't get paid for the song from Bone, but it made his career. I mean, a season this is killed him. You know, yeah. Bone didn't do a damn thing because you couldn't perform it. Go ahead. Do it. And a season desist on this. I mean, that's a court order. So, I mean, go back and 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 and, and like I said, it's a Googleable fact. It's nothing I made up. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it hurt, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so you Boosie know, did an interview, right? Right. And Boosie said, uh, and we that didn't ain't, ask that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't his song. And we didn't ask him. That, that's reason big song out of Jackson, Mississippi. Because it's the truth. We did not ask Boost Boost. And and this is a fact. I mean, you can ask Boost himself. We didn't ask Boost to do that. We didn't and there were certain people in the game that we asked to do it. Because they knew the truth. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't. This was a dude, this was the first dude to say it out loud. We didn't even ask him to do that because he knew it was the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, 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 it's amazing that it, that, that it took somebody outside of every and, – and not saying I didn't know Boosie. Boosie cool, as, that was my dog. But I didn't ask him to do it. The one that we asked to do it wouldn't do it. And mm. they knew the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that just shows you how real that dude is. But yeah, it's the truth. It's, I mean, I, I mean, I don't have no reason to lie about it. You know what I'm saying? It's been 20 years ago. I have no reason to continue with a lie. Yeah. <laughs> no, real shit. That's like, I, like, it's, it amazes me that this dude continuously lies to himself every day or every time he get on the mic and tell people about this song, he is literally lying to himself, man. I mean, just imagine. Could you live Could you live a lie? No, nah, no. Nah. Feel me? Like, your whole existence is a lie. That got to do something to a man. Was y'all friends? Like, did y'all did know him? I'm just going to be honest. Oh, my dog. Yo. I mean... 
The man would come down, we would treat the man like family. I mean, come to the house, eat. I mean, we was big guys at the time. You know, your sister tell you, we were big guys at the time. So anything I had in my closet was fair game. Just go get that shit, I don't give a fuck. Like, we treated that dude like family. Yeah. You know, that's what hurt so bad. His kids called me Uncle Big. Yeah. Damn. You know, it's bigger than rap. You know what I'm saying? And people don't even, you know, people looking at the rap part of, oh, I killed that nigga, and da 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 and blah, 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 blah. If I'd have killed that nigga, they'd have knew it was me. And Reese and what, they, what the dude name? Lee Harvey Oswald. I'd have been a legend. Oh, nigga, that shit would have been like, y'all would have been in here doing, the, and they'd have been brought that shit up in your big load. Yeah, man, they killed bone crushing shit. You remember that shit? <laughs> <laughs> they still do a time, yeah, but that's yeah, it, yeah. nigga. Nah, you know, I'm just not stupid. Yeah. But uh, it's tragic because he killed two careers. Yeah. You know, we, we could have been millionaires together. But some people don't see the team aspect of it. They want to be Michael Jordan and they Scottie Pippen. Yeah. So I guess the people want to know, like, it's still going, going, like, what? We still suing this dude. Like, it's, it, they bringing it back up. More and more, I've had several calls from Def Jam. I've had several calls from people in Atlanta. And we had a talk about this the other day. You know what I'm saying? Now they don't like uh, Jermaine Dupree, and they think that I'm going to get in the middle of that, and I'm not. You know, you're not going to treat me like a pawn in somebody's game. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 if I, just want, I, just want the, I just want my money. You know what I'm saying? All the money is in escrow. You know what I'm saying? None of the money has been spent. None of that. It's just, I, I just want my money. I don't want to be in no limelight. I don't want to be in no news. None of that. You know, just be real. Yeah. Because in an interview, Boosie said, uh, Boosie said, uh, y'all stopped rapping because of it. We, we, we didn't stop rapping, but we stopped being as diligent with it. You know what I'm saying? Because life goes on. Yeah. You know, the only thing that's, that's constant in life is change. If you don't, reinvent yourself and you know you have to reinvent yourself something wrong with you you know what i'm saying if you want to live in 1995 then live in 1995 but i want to live in 2022 yeah so i kept reinventing myself like right now i'm chef bigelow and that's what i do for a living i cook and you can hate it as long as you want to but you ain't gonna hate my food yeah so y'all kept going kept going reese is a nurse i mean reese ran a hospital and he did it on a bet. We bet him he couldn't finish nursing school. Yeah. And he did it. Like, damn. But he on a bet. Yeah. That was on a bet. Like, yeah. you can't finish nursing school, nigga. What, nigga? What? And literally. Yeah. You think y'all were blackballed after that? Was, was it like a. Jermaine Dupree was big then. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But we, like I said, I still do shows off Never Skate. I just did a couple shows off Never Skate. I never stopped doing shows. We never stopped getting paid off Never Skate. That's the thing. See, what a lot of people don't see is, they, they don't see the, the residual that's going on. They don't, they just like, man, them niggas just fucked up. And just, I'm good. Yeah. Don't think that I ain't good. I still get, get, get uh, Roy, I own everything. Yeah. My shit is on the internet and all that. I own my shit. My shit is on Apple Music and everything. I own my shit. I still get a check for that shit. So don't think that I'm over here fucked up. I'm straight. Shit. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, that was unfortunate that Never Scared happened like that, but I please believe I'm straight. I ain't stupid enough to not put my shit on Apple Music and get a dollar piece for it. I'm not stupid enough to not put my shit on YouTube and whatever change they're going to give me for it, it come. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. David Banner. <sighs> the fan want to know about this too. Because we, we, we brought this up. <laughs> I don't really... I'm 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 gonna say this. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it like. It's hard. It's hard. I'm I'm be honest with you. Better to you, you know what I'm saying. He um. 
you know, I asked him to do some things, and he didn't want to. I asked him to, let's just be real. I He was one of the ones when I said, you know, I asked a couple people. He was one of the ones. He was right there. Oh, go, 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 Listen to me. Go ahead, go ahead. Talk to me. When Banner, when Banner was recording Yo. his first album, Banner was right there in Atlanta with us. Banner was right there in this studio with us. Banner would, would I would walk in in, in, in in Avery's studio, and Banner would be in there. You know what I'm saying already. He ain't in there with with with, with uh, Avery, but he might be sitting in the back on his computer or some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he would always be in Atlanta. He would always be up there involved in some shit that's going on up there. He would just always be there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was there when we recorded Never Scared. He was there. So he knew. No. Shit. We just asked him to say something. He didn't do it. I feel you. But Banner signed a deal, though. What was the difference? What, what, what would you say the difference between? Here's what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak for the people. Because I done seen him say it, man. That recent big had the bigger song. We did. Right? They had the bigger song. But. You had to sign a deal. That nigga, signed, that nigga signed the deal, though. But you feel me? That nigga you signed the deal. had to. He signed a deal. You had to. We were going to sign a deal. But we were going to make it beneficial to see. <coughs> what a lot of people deal was wasn't beneficial toward them. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of stipulations. It was a lot of things they couldn't do. It was a lot of, you know, people they couldn't take with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even Banner deal had some restrictions. You feel what I'm saying? So you couldn't do what you wanted to do. You had to be that artist that they wanted you to be. Mm-hmm. We wasn't going to do that. This wasn't going to happen. Just being real, we why 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 why? I mean, we had a deal on the table. We had a million dollar deals on the table. We had a million dollar for why, Universal. Why? Listen, we had a million dollar deal on the table. All we wanted Universal to do was license. Somebody Google that. That's on Facebook. That's gonna see this. That's that that that's on YouTube. That's gonna see this. Please Google. Um, just just Google it. You know what I'm saying? It's like all we wanted. In return from everything we did was what we did. Yeah. We wanted people to say something. We wanted people to open their mouth. And Banner was one of the ones that didn't. He didn't want to. Um, he won't say nothing. You know, I can't be mad at a nigga for not saying nothing. I can't. I can't be mad at a nigga for taking another nigga's side. Because that's the way I feel. But at the same time, a lot of people from the city, and 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 we spoke on this before. We didn't get to get out there, but a lot of people feel like Banner just abandoned the city. He blew. He came up. Cause that nigga signed a deal, right? Yeah, he signed a deal. A lot of people feel like Benno signed a deal and just abandoned the city. But at the same time, you got people. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, 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 just, I'm just speaking on. I'm just speaking on the comments now. What people were gonna, what people gonna say in the comments? They'll say, well, why you didn't? Why, 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 why didn't recent big pick up what Benno left off it? Cause we ain't had no deal. Why they ain't putting no niggas on? Um, you got people gonna ask them questions. They've been asking them questions. We recorded with anybody that got. I mean, if you, I mean, do the research. Technically, I, they did. Yeah, I've been <laughs> asking them questions. Like they want to know, like, why the fuck? Why, why, why didn't? Uh, okay, if Banner didn't do it, then why didn't Recent B do it? Well, first and foremost, we didn't have no deal, and um, like I said, we were we were regional hot. I mean, we couldn't yeah. go no further. You know what and I'm you saying? Know what? But hold on, let me say this. I mean, we could have, we could have, we could have picked. Listen, we did, we did, we did shows in Omaha, Nebraska. We did shows in Kansas City. You know, we did shows up that way. But it should take money. The same way I tell you about that two hundred thousand. But that's why we took well, we took our money. That's what we took okay, our okay, money okay, and put okay, it to put it like this. See, he he hey, go with a lot of people getting that news. He this. go with a lot of people don't understand. Hold then. on, oh, he go with a lot of people don't understand though. Now check this out. David Banner, y'all was cool. There were people don't understand. A lot of people might not understand. Like, like y'all know. knew each other. 
Bro, we took him on tour. That's what I'm saying. Y'all was, y'all was first, right? Yes, sir. But outside of the banner, outside of all of that, let me say, Reason Big used to do shows in in Mississippi. And they but made Letter, sure. Crooked Letter had a deal. They made sure that they put these independent yeah. artists on these shows. Reese yeah. and Bigelow, they actually made sure some of these independent artists had a platform bro, to we, perform. Bro, Banner went on tour with us. We took that nigga to show and, and let that nigga perform. You know what I'm saying? When we infiltrated Meridian, bro, Banner was with us. Meridian wasn't letting motherfucker do shows. Or it wasn't no rap artist going to Meridian doing shows. We took that nigga Meridian with us. And he, bro, with my right hand to God, we took him, we took him around. When Hazel he said we're living in the van. What was that club in Hazelhurst you guys used to do the shows in? Um, oh. What about this new situation that's going on? Man, crazy shit in the world ever happened to me. Literally. I'm, I'm chilling one night, get a message in my DM. Um, First and foremost, I think it is a scam, you know what I'm saying? That's how I get my scams to do the DM and inbox. So I was like, this dude was like, that was some sensitive information. I need your email. And uh, I just stepped out on faith. I said, let me send this man, let me see what's up. And a song that I wrote that I had hand in write 22 years ago, yo, a viral sensation. This is a viral sensation already now. This, this was a couple months ago. Yeah. It's already a viral sensation. And <laughs> crazy after 22 years, it's like, damn. Like we just signed a deal with Sony. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just, we just, we're, we're in the process of doing deals. What year, what, what year was this? What year was this? 19, take that back, 20. 2000, yeah. 2000, um, big shout out to Charlie Braxton. Yeah. Charlie Braxton is the man. Yeah. Oh, Charlie is the man. Charlie introduced us to this guy from London, 2000. Okay. Say from the BBC, say he's doing the show down here. He want to learn how to rap. Yeah. I'm, and he was like, these guys can teach you how to rap. Charlie with his Charlie got us into this is what I'm thinking at first, but old man told me, whatever you do in life, take it seriously. If that's what you do, do it seriously. So we get him in the studio, he say, Well man, you know, I wanna rap. I'm going to Wild Wayne Studio, Wild Wayne Radio Show in New Orleans. And uh, at the time Wayne let you rap. Yeah. You know, Wild Wayne and the, and the, and the mic. If you from New Orleans, you know what I'm talking about. Two thousand Wayne used to let you rap on the radio. Yeah. So the British guy said, I need to write a rap. So we was like, uh, first we told him to cut the cameras off. We had to kill his dream of being a gangster rap. You know, you can't be no gangster rap. He never did no gangster shit. Yeah. So, but we could write you a rap, but it ain't gonna be no gangster rap. He was like, okay, cool. So turn the cameras back on. What kind of ideas you got? He come up with some shit, talking about jiggle, jiggle, and wiggle, wiggle, and fancy and fiddle, and I'm looking at Reese. I'm trying. If you, I mean, if you look at this show, it's like I'm trying to smile, but it, it, you can see that I'm just like, what the fuck? But we take the city, we write the shit, and it's hot to us. Yeah. If it's hot to us, oh, it's gonna be hot to Wayne. You know, to whips. He go jump it off. He win. It's twenty years, twenty two years ago. Back to the DM. I give him my email. Man, all of a sudden, man, they start sending me contracts and wait a minute, time out, hold on, wait a minute, what's going on? So we do our research and for sure, if you if you are on TikTok, if you are if you are anywhere in the world, you have heard this song, uh, 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 my money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure. Yeah. We wrote that, me and Reese, right up the street.